Hello and welcome back to another video. Today here again on Forza Horizon 5 to take a look at another brand new addition to the Forza series, which is this Hyundai Elantra touring car. Available of course for completing 20 points of this week's festival playlist, which is the autumn season, which as you can see I've done by doing the trial, the three event labs and the four rivals at the beginning of the month. So this new Elantra touring car is a very similar spec as you may expect to the Lincoln Co and MG6 touring cars that we got a little while ago now. Those are both 2020 touring cars though and have exactly the same power and weight as one another. The Hyundai though is a newer 2021 car which weighs 40 kilos more at 1360 kilos in total um, but just like the older cars it's also front wheel drive and is equipped with a tiny 2 litre engine. However, in this it produces 10 more horsepower than either of the older cars, with a total output of 350 horsepower. The extra weight is apparently balanced out by that bigger power figure, as just like the slightly older cars from 2020, the Hyundai is also rated right at the top of A-Class at A800 from standard. Being a racing car, there is only the livery that it comes with as an official manufacturer colour. There are though advanced painting options, um, the first um, being the main body of the car, and the second, like the Ford GT was, is um, j just the, the window banner for, for some reason. And just like most other racing cars in Horizon 5, um, it's kind of the same story in the upgrade shop. There aren't loads of options. There are though a couple of engine swaps. There's an inline four, but there's also a 7.2 litre V8 if you want to make a sort of V8 supercar um, kind of thing out of it, which immediately puts power up to 850 horsepower. Um, there is also, of course, a rear wheel drive swap and an all wheel drive swap and you can change your tyres, although most of them actually make it worse. As well as doing your tyre width, obviously some of the standard drivetrain options, um, brakes and suspension, although of course it's already on race suspension, and you can do some of your extra power upgrades. The standard engine, fully upgraded, can get 646 horsepower out of it, which isn't too bad. However, if you swap it with the V8, you can get that engine up to 1,356 horsepower. For now though, I left the Hyundai stock as it's already at the top of A-Class and headed into some Horizon Open with that stock configuration, joining for the final race of an adventure and then completing a full set of three races as well. Um, as I expected, the Hyundai was unmatched pretty much in the corners, but did really struggle um, for straight line speed, as you might expect from a race car with many downforces. Unfortunately though, three of the four races were sprint routes. Two at the Linear Costera Sprint, which is mostly a very high speed route, even as sprints go, so I really didn't do very well on that one. Um, the one sprint at the Aerodromo Sprint uh, route though did go slightly better, but unsurprisingly, this isn't really what the car is best suited to. The one circuit that came up, however, was perfect for this car. I was incredibly lucky that one of the routes was the Chihuahua circuit. Here I thought I couldn't really lose, or I didn't really have any excuse to, although there was also a second Hyundai Touring car in the race, so I potentially thought they might also have a chance at it. And as expected, apart from a surprising challenge from a Ford F-150 electric pickup truck quite early on, the Hyundai won by miles and miles, taking the fastest lap by over three seconds in the process. So if this car sacrificed some grip in exchange for a bit of extra power, it would be pretty good, I think. Um, potentially then with some rally tyres to drop the PI a bit and a bit of power added in replacement, it may perform even better, or at least struggle a little bit less on the higher speed sections. I can't actually remember what the other two touring cars were like with tunes of that nature, but I think there were some fairly good ones, so I would expect to see some similar setups shared for this in the next few days. And that is going to do it for today's video, taking a very first look at the Hyundai Elantra touring car here on Forza Horizon 5. As ever, do let me know your thoughts on this brand new addition to the series, but for today's video that is going to be all, so thank you very much for watching, and I'll be back with the next one very soon.